done. All right, cool, Edito. All right, so let's get back to this. Um, yeah, so how's everybody? Oh my gosh, so we have people in the house. Uh, we have Israel. Israel, welcome back. He says, I'm ready. Uh, Israel also said, uh, hello everyone, like he does every single stream. And George said, yo, you're right back, George. What's, what's going on? What's happening, George? <laughs> yeah. And then we've got Amp W Cars, man. Amp, what's up, man? What's happening? You did turn the amp all the way up to 11 today. How are you watching the stream today? I'm sure you send me the pictures, the pictures later. So, yeah. <laughs> Funny dude, man. And George said, uh, music is all good. Oh, whew, it's good to hear that. And uh, George down for the recalls. <laughs> yeah. So I see emojis of, um, yeah, like this. I see a car. I see flames. And uh, <laughs> I see the dark side of the moon. And uh, a lot of laughter as well. So I wonder who we're going to be talking about. But before we do any of that other stuff, let's talk about the good news today. Right? So today's news. Today. I mean, who would have thought that? It's, it's crazy. It's like, there are a lot of really old car companies. I never thought that Japanese cars were actually, or car companies were that old. So Suzuki is officially 100 years old. And they made the first car in 1955. I think it's called a, uh, I can't remember what it was. It was some weird name. 300cc engine. <laughs> and only weighed 500 kilos, man. So yeah, so happy birthday, Suzuki. And uh, yeah, that's Suzuki news. In other news as well, uh, obviously you guys have seen on Instagram, and in my latest video that I posted earlier today, uh, basically Lamborghini decided to launch a brand new car today. When I say brand new, I said that with a pinch of salt because it's not really brand new. It's actually repackaging what we already know in terms of, um, they've released a new Huracan Evo Spider rear wheel drive. If you don't know from yesterday's stream, they already have uh, a Huracan Evo Spider, but this is all wheel drive or four wheel drive. But this one is specifically aimed at, um, yeah, driver enthusiasts. So basically, people who like to drive spiritedly and also basically do donuts and maybe slide around corners and stuff. So, yeah, so today they released uh, the Huracan Evo Spider rear wheel drive, but in a very interesting way. So, this kind of points the way to how I think maybe. Because technology is, is now kind of shaping how manufacturers are actually launching cars now. As you saw early in the year with um, mm. Geneva, or oh, the lack of Geneva, a lot of the, the car launches went, damn, drive through it, man, T. Well done through the internet or through live means and stuff like that. So Lamborghini is really working with Apple very, very closely. Uh, so basically there's an app or the way that it works is if you have an iPhone 11, or an iPhone 10, I think, but it works better on iPhone 11. Uh, you're able to basically use augmented reality uh, to see a Lamborghini Huracan Evo rear wheel drive on your table or in your in your drive, like I did today. I literally went outside through my phone. I could see a full size, lifelike Lamborghini I don't say I meant it all, uh, Evo Spider rear wheel drive uh, in my drive. I could walk around it, look inside, and even sit inside, kinda. And basically, like, be like in the driver's seat. It's kind of cool how it works, man. So, yeah, that's how they released the car today. It's kind of cool. So, the question is, what is different between the new um, rear wheel drive Huracan Evo and the regular Huracan Evo? Um, not really much power and everything, or engine is the same, but the power is a little bit down by 29 horsepower. But apparently, you're not going to notice it that much. Uh, so, yeah, so you get, you pay more for less. And also, uh, the front diffuser is a little bit different as well. Massive air intakes in the front, and the pillars on the side used to be like kind of Y shaped, but now they're a lot more straighter or vertical. And the back uh, has got a black bumper now, and there's also a diffuser which is a lot lower than it used to be, and that's about it. So, that was the Huracan news today. Uh, before I carry on, I must uh, pay my attention to the comments because Israel said, Show us that Evo Spider. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to do that right now. Um, you know what? The best way to do this is, how can I do this through my phone? I don't think it's gonna work. Um, actually, I know what I can do. Let me export a video so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Or even easier, later, watch my latest video. It, it, it explains everything. But in the meantime, we're gonna go to Lamborghini's website. So you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, virtually speaking. All right, let's find this thing. Um, I do like the Evo rear wheel drive. It's one of my favorite uh, Huracan so far. Excuse me there for a second. Jesus Christ. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I've got a family, the internet. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to Lamborghini. 
Uh, Lamborghini. Aha! Here we are, people. We are here. All right. Let's put the screen. I'm going to have to move a few things around so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. So this is basically what it is. So you have... Where's my phone at? So you have your phone like this. Actually, can you kind of see it from here? I mean, I wish there was a way for me to like plug my... Oh, you know what? I'm going to try something, all right? It might work. It might not work. But let's try it anyway. <laughs> this could be quite fun. It could be a lot of fun. So I'm going to attempt to basically show you guys a huracan on this table right here through my phone. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> this might work, this might not work, but it's only one way to find out. Um, the things you guys make me do, man, seriously. <laughs> uh, can I make the phone part of the camera? I think we did it before and it didn't quite work, so let's try. Uh, let's go back to the full screen, to the video uh, over here. And uh, I'm gonna try this. Will it work? Okay, let's go to the website first. Let's go Lamborghini. This is gonna be so cool. Uh, if it works, it's Lamborghini.com. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to. Uh, all right, here we go. Augmented reality. Okay, let, I gotta move everything off the table so it's nice and clean for this 3D thing to work. It's quite clever how this whole thing actually works as well. Dope. Okay, let's uh, put it onto the screen for everybody. All right, here we go. So I'm on a Lamborghini website. So I'm gonna go to AR uh, over here. And then it's gonna try and figure out where to place the car on this table. So let's do that right now. I hope it works, man. It'd be amazing if it does. Just waiting for it, waiting for it. Taking a bit longer than I expect now. Ah, boom, here we go. I, I, I think it's actually gone properly full size. I don't want that. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna zoom it back. So, whoa, what am I doing, man? All right, here we go. So I'm rescaling. <laughs> so you guys see that? We literally got a Horokan uh, Evo on my table right now. I'm gonna walk around it as well. Check this out. You can literally go inside. Look, check how cool is that? You can look inside the, the Evo spider, go even deeper in there and I can walk all the way around it as well check this out go around here underneath my keyboard <laughs> so this is behind it I can zoom in as well okay let's move it let's zoom in so you guys can see a little bit more how cool is this this is the future people the future is literally here so this is what the inside of it looks like you can look behind like the driver as well see the speedometer and everything so the interior is exactly the same as the current Huracan Evo um, Spider, the all-wheel drive, and also the coupe as well. Walk all the way around it. So I was talking earlier about how the front diffuser is a little bit different. See, that you guys can tell. See, it's a lot bigger. And also on either side, you can see that the air intakes there are a lot bigger, but also more vertical instead of the, the usual wide design that you get on the regular Huracan. Um, Evo Spider all wheel drive. Go all the way around it as well. See you guys, you guys see this one? How cool is that? It's practically chilling on my laptop, man. That is the dopest thing I've ever seen. So, more details. I can zoom right in, like get close, like I get with my camera. It says the Huracan Evo uh, rear wheel drive on there. <laughs> this is just too much fun. But this is sick. Look inside, you see, it says there Huracan Evo headrest. And this bit here, between these pillars is actually a window that you can actually close. It goes up or down if you want to hear more of that natural aspect of V10 engine. How dope is that? So Israel, since you asked, this is basically what an Evo uh, rear wheel drive looks like on my desk. What do you guys think about the color? Huh? You guys like that? How'd you like my demo? I hope it was good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But now let's, oh, that looks so goddamn good. Look at that. It looks sexy as hell. Oh, by the way, one thing I forgot to say as well is like, if I go right behind the car as well, check this out, look. So behind it, you see that diffuse is a little bit different. Obviously you've got iconic um, tail pipes in there, but also the diffuse czar is a lot lower, but the bumper is also black, which is very, very cool indeed. So yeah, lower, a little bit different and cooler. 
I like the fact that he hasn't got a wing. He's got that little lip in the back, which I prefer to the massive wing of the Performante. So yeah, there you go. So that, people, is a virtual tour of the Hurukan Evo rear wheel drive, where 100% of the power goes to the rear wheels. Actually, let's have it side by side with my uh, 288 GTO. <laughs> see if, if we can do like, um, can we actually do that? Let's see if we can do that. Have them. Oh, look at that, man. Which one would you, look, look at that, side by side. Which one would you guys have? Look at that, how cool is this? Yeah, very, very cool. So there you have it, man. So that was a quick little tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yes, there's my screen. She said it's a double view, man. <laughs> All right, let's go back, let's go back. Oh my God. All right. I am expecting a lot of questions from you guys. Uh, I'm gonna get back. Oh, okay, I'm back. Whoo, that one worked this time. Oh my God. Click that out now. Okay. All right. Okay, let's get back. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed that little tour that I've just done. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Very, very cool. Let's get rid of this. Oop, use this one. Uh, let's go back. So let's read some of your questions up in here. <laughs> oh my God, you got a lot of you tuned in. Thank you very much for coming uh, to the show. Uh, what have I missed? So show us the Huracan Evo, said uh, Israel, which I've just done. Um, and uh, Mike Hayek, uh, what's up, man? You sound like you're new here, so welcome to the stream. And uh, the chat is still haunted by the blue on <laughs> by the blue on blue 720s. Yes. So yeah, th that was uh, yeah, that was painful. I'll never forget that. That was like a nightmare. Sometimes I wake up sweating and screaming when that like kind of invades my dreams and stuff. We have a really nice dream. Then I see the 720s with the blue on blue. Woo, it's terrible. It's bad. Uh, Isa said that I've done it already. Uh, George said, uh, how much more is the real wheel drive Huracan Evo Spider than the uh, all wheel drive one? Uh, that's a very good question. I didn't actually check that. <laughs> Let's check that right now. Um, I'm probably thinking quite a bit more. Price! Uh, price of Huracan Spider. Uh, oh, sheesh kebab. Uh, Spider Evo. Let's see what this is. So, whoo, <laughs> who wants to have a guess at how much the Huracan Evo Spider actually costs? Jesus Christ. All right. That is an in, in, in obscene amount of money. Like, crazy. All right, let's see how much it costs more than the regular all wheel drive. Um, price of Huracan Evo Spider. Oh, I made a mistake here. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, price of Huracan Spider. Uh, forgive me, uh, Evo Spider. There's too much caffeine in that tea. <laughs> so, whew, yeah, that's a lot of cash money. So let's do the all wheel drive. All wheel drive. You know what? That can't be right. That cannot be right. Somebody's telling fibs. So, so the all-wheel drive cost two hundred eighteen thousand one hundred thirty-seven English pounds. But I'm not seeing any pricing for the all for the for the rear-wheel drive though. Um, okay, let's do it another way. Huracan Evo Spider rear-wheel drive. Damn, that's that's serious money. Uh, that can't be right, seriously? Nah. That, that is conflicting information. I want to go to AutoCAD. They probably have a more accurate um, piece of information there. All right, hold on one second. I'm getting two conflicting bits of information. Okay. What do they say here? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I can't see anything on pricing. Has, have Lamborghini not released pricing of this car? Yeah, I'll be surprised if they haven't because I'm assuming that everyone wants to know how much this damn thing costs. Uh, don't think... Ah, okay. So here we go. <laughs> Price for the rear wheel drive spider is uh, okay. So here is the clear information. So for the rear wheel drive uh, spider, 
is 188,800 pounds, uh, representing a 15,600 premium over the rear wheel drive coupe. So yeah, say it costs 15 grand more than the rear wheel drive coupe. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. But obviously, we're not talking options here. Once you start adding options, I guess it goes all the way up to uh, 218, 220 uh, grand. Woo! That's a lot of cash money. So hopefully that, will, that answers your question, uh, George. <laughs> Okay, um, so Lewis Darnell, what's up, man? He said hello, hello, right back. Uh, welcome back to the stream. And uh, Mike Hayek said uh, that is cool. Yeah, for real, man. The Huracan looks absolutely amazing. But the use of technology is absolutely mental. Um, this with an iPhone 11, but I'm assuming with the new iPad Pro because it has a um, what's that thing called? That lighter thing? Like a, it's a kind of like like radar, but for your phone, oh no, for your tablet, you get more accurate representation of uh, augmented reality. So iPhone 12, you can take my money when you come out. So yeah, uh, we pretty cool. And George said it's very cool as well. Israel said awesome, so I guess you guys definitely like that. So Israel said, I did um, at the same time you did, very cool. I completely forget the train of thought there, but I think I <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I might have said before, but I can't remember. So Amp W Card said, uh, would you buy one if you had the money? 100% hell yeah. I think, you know what? I said hell yeah, but I probably prefer more of the all-wheel drive coupe though, I think. But this does look good as well. I don't know, man. Because um, the coupe is cheaper as well. So, you know what? I'll go with this one because Cool, man. And when that roof comes down, it is dope. I prefer the, the, the back side of this one as well. It's, it's a lot lower, it looks nice. It's, that front looks a bit more, mm. so it's kind of cool. So I'll go with it, but if I had cash money for real, then I'll just spec it to hell. And I will not do same wheel color as the body, <laughs> unless the car is black. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, but I need some cash money, man. I had a 20p piece in here somewhere. I uh, don't know where it's gone. I think I spent it already without knowing. So yeah, there you go. So Israel said thumbs up. Thank you very much, Israel. So Mike Hayek said a $350,000 base. Yeah, you're, actually you're not too, too mm, I think that's a little bit too high. It's, um, it's, a, it's around 200, 188 over here. So I guess for you guys, it's around 100 and uh, 200-ish, I think for you guys. A uh, base, and then when you add all the options and it goes pretty crazy. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it or do you think it's like, because I just feel like Lamborghini is again a little, a little bit like McLaren sometimes. They're releasing the same car over and over and over again. There's so many different versions of the Aventador. And now that the Huracan has just been like, there's so many versions of it as well. Not as crazy as McLaren, but more about that later. Ha! So Israel Perez said that um, I wasn't, but I'm not sure. I uh, still prefer the. Ah, so yeah, Israel prefers the Fomante. Yeah, the Fomante is cool. I'm just not sold in that wing though. I don't know what it is, man. Something about wings I just don't like. Unless if it's on something like a Koenigsegg or something like, like certain cars look cool with wings and others just don't. And uh, I don't think the Huracan Comante is uh, that wing. I'm not feeling it. I know why it's there, but I prefer the, the Evo a lot more. Kind of my thing. <laughs> um, Isla said uh, it has to be cheaper than the all-wheel drive. Yeah, you think so as well, isn't it? But um, yeah, you're right because it's one. It's 188 versus 218, so yeah, there you go. But uh, I prefer the, the real wheel drive over the all wheel drive, if I can choose from the two, so there you go. So that is the news from Lamborghini today, but then there's more things I wanna talk about as well, because this is not just today, this is not like today's news, but it's been quite big news on the internet regarding uh, McLaren. So it turns out, we've been talking about McLaren's reliability issues and all the things they're going through right now. And uh, they're having to recall a massive number of cars, man. Like 2,700 cars they're recalling. And this includes the McLaren Senna, 720S, and the 570 GT. Hmm. So the story apparently started um, last year, 2019, in a place called Latvia. You may have heard of it. There was a guy who basically was driving his 720, his 570S. And his nose detected uh, some smells of gas or fuel in his car. And uh, he called McLaren and said, hey, um, there's a bit of an issue with that smell fuel. So he took his car to the McLaren specialist and, and discovered that there was some kind of weird corrosion thing happening with a fuel tank and uh, a piece of barge board underneath or foam underneath the car. So basically the idea of the foam was to stop 
uh, the tank from basically vibrating and making noise and stuff. It turns out when this foam gets wet, um, it corrodes the fuel tank, which could lead to leakage of the fuel and also a uh, possible fire. Now we all know what happened uh, with the Solomondri's McLaren 7, 720, the Solomondri's um, McLaren Senna. That was a pretty massive YouTube PR disaster for McLaren because the whole car literally burned down. So it turns out this person at LabDay reported this issue. McLaren fixed the issue but didn't really do much uh, about it because they just assumed for some reason that it was just one car. But it turns out someone in the UK also said he was smelling gas or fuel in his car. And then McLaren decided, okay, enough is enough. Let's recall all these cars because there's a huge risk of fire. You'd have think, you'd have thought that they, they would have decided to do this when Solomon Dream obviously had his massive fire issue. So yeah, it's really weird, man. 2,700 cars recalled by McLaren. And that is gonna cost me a whole heap of money. It's like, uh, yeah, it's crazy. But before I carry on, let me read some of your comments as well before I get left behind with it. Uh, oh my gosh, we've got Dooley up in the house as well. Uh, Dooley, what's happening, man? Uh, so it turns out you're not getting the attention you deserve. <laughs> yeah, we all need more attention every now and then. And then um, Mike Hayek said, uh, right before uh, Speedtail production. Ooh, you know what? This is, this is another thing as well. So Speedtail production. I, this, I just feel like McLaren is going through a really, really tough time at the moment. Yeah. There's just so many things happening all at the same time. And they're getting dragged through everything. And I kind of feel sorry for them in some ways. And it's really weird, but I kind of do. And when you think about the whole thing collectively, McLaren is not the only car company in the world to have all these kind of recalls and, and, and issues. Because you remember, I don't know if you guys remember from 2019, uh, I think around April, um, I think Ferrari had some recall issues as well. That's about recall almost 3,000 cars because they had that 40 doors. Like, you could be driving your Ferrari on the highway and there could be an issue waiting to get out the car and you can't. So you're literally stuck in your car. So they literally have to recall like uh, almost 3,000 cars. That included the um, GDC4 Luso and GDC4 Luso T, I think, in America and some other cars. So this happens to pretty much, like, you know, not every, but a lot of like car brands out there. And it just seems like McLaren gets more into the papers because obviously they have more reliability issues, but that's also because they're, they're younger and Ferrari are. So I don't want anyone to think that they're just terrible. They're not that bad. It's just that things get amplified with them in the news for some reason. So there you have it. And I mean, there, there are more like high profile issues as well, because um, if you remember with, with Toyota, I think uh, they had to recall. <laughs> This is just crazy, right? This was like a January 2020. This is like this is this year, right? They have to recall 700,000 cars. I mean, think about that. That's almost a million cars. Obviously, they're more of like a, a volume, like a car selling brand. They're not like a limited, like McLaren and Ferrari and stuff. But imagine managing recalling 700,000 cars back to the factory. And the problem that they had is a, a much more dangerous issue, actually. Is it more dangerous? It's probably about the same because uh, the McLaren person just blamed is equally, if not more dangerous. But uh, with the Toyota, what happened was that there was an issue with the fuel tap, with the fuel pump. So you could be driving your, I don't know, what is a good, uh, are there any good Toyotas? I can't think of one. Uh, let's just say Toyota Prius. You, you're like a, an Uber driver. You know, you have to take someone to the airport because they're going to miss the plane. You're driving quite spiritedly, like on the highway, and all of a sudden, the fuel pump just cuts out. The car literally just dies. That is like hugely dangerous as hell. The car will literally stall on the highway. Now that is bad, but I still think bursting into flames is probably uh, totally more burning and more dangerous than uh, I guess stalling your car and stuff like that. And then around the same time in April, um, Nissan also recalled 300k cars. That's 300,000 cars because of um, exploding airbags. <laughs> Oh my gosh, imagine the shock and surprise, man. You're driving your Nissan Leaf or whatever it is down the highway. I don't know I keep thinking highway or whatever. Oh, it could be in Germany, man. It could be on the Autobahn. You decide to max out your Nissan Leaf and all of a sudden, it just literally the airbag just explodes. That, that, that'll cause serious death and pain. So yeah, there you have it. So a lot of cars have recall issues, not just McLaren. So yeah, lay it off McLaren for a bit, man. Give them a, just chill a little bit, people. Uh, okay, let me read. Actually, which manufacturers had the worst ever recall? I think Toyota. Was there something like a few years back when the brakes didn't work or something? 
and that's recall like well over a million cards. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, so the so my character the four five eight four five eight curse. <laughs> what is the four five eight curse? Burst into flames. I don't remember the four five eight. Ah, maybe the doors. Yeah, it could be the doors because I mean. This effect affecting Ferrari is not just the cars that I mentioned because it goes way back to I think it said 2017 or something. So a lot of cars, well that's only three years ago, ain't that, ain't that long ago? So yeah, it affect a lot of like a Ferrari. So yeah, but what is a 458 curse? I wanna know. I wanna know. Okay, MW Car said um that's my car and it's for you. Oh no. If I had a cash right now, I'll probably buy a 720s. I don't think they're that bad. Really, just the resale value is terrible, but just buy one second hand and you don't, don't lose too much money as long as you're not planning to sell it anytime soon. Or maybe have it for a year and sell it quickly before it, like the value completely goes through the ground and stuff like that. So Mike Hike said, uh, when they were catching fire back in 2010. Ah, interesting. See, this is the thing, this is before I started doing car spotting, so I didn't really hear much about this whole 458 like, catching fire and stuff. But uh, yeah, that sounds like it was, it was a big thing because you know how much we all love the 458, especially especially Ah, especially Speciale. Yeah, so it's just like, um, this is a common thing uh, in the supercar performance car industry. Cars just get recalled and they catch fire and stuff because they're high performance, man. So yeah, so there you have it. All right, let's see. Uh, ha, 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 ha. So Israel said, uh, be, be group. What do you mean, Israel? Uh, be, ah. VW group with that, yeah, that <laughs> diesel gate, that was a big one. So, yeah, that was really, really embarrassing for VW. I mean, that was just like, what the hell? Just basically plain lying about your figures and stuff, and then I've been like caught out like, several years later. That was, yeah, diesel gate was quite big. Uh, see, that one was more, it probably is not as dangerous as, say, the McLaren and, uh, and the Ferraris or whatever, catching fire and stuff. But diesel gate was, was big, especially with the European regulations and stuff. They basically like flouted that. You can't do that, man. Can't do that anymore. You have to be uh, legit and uh, PC these days. So yeah, there you have it. Um, let me see what else I might have missed up in here. Uh, ha, ha, ha. So Dooley P said, I love the videos, bro. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Um, yeah, when the internet works is what I'm saying. So what I want to do was uh, probably keep these videos quite short um, because I'm using my phone data and I need to do obviously more streams. I need to preserve uh, data and stuff like that. That's why I forgot to say this earlier in the stream. So let's see. So anything else you guys want to talk about today? Um, that, did I miss anything? I thought I covered everything I want to cover today. I already covered that. It's uh, Suzuki's birthday. Anyone here like Suzuki now? I don't know. Uh, we talked about the Lamborghini, uh, Evo, rear wheel drive, and what else we talk about? <laughs> we talked about, about McLaren's issues and all other cars that are being recalled and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, there you have it. I think we pretty much covered everything. So, unless you guys have any more questions and stuff, um, I'll probably uh, end the stream in the name of preserving data for like future streams like tomorrow and the days after that and all that jazz. Uh, uh, so let's see what Perez has said. So Perez just said, uh, buy a 720S for 145 grand, then take it to uh, McLaren to sort out the recall, then it will go up soon. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the thing is though, it's like, depending on what happens to McLaren, the 720S or McLaren's might end up being collector's cars if McLaren goes under. So, you know, you just never know with these things. Um, so Mike Hayek said a uh, new Nissan uh, ZED. ZED? You want to talk about the new Nissan? What is that? What is new Nissan ZED? Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. See Nissan. You mean the new Nissan Z? Ah. Uh, Hmm, interesting. The next generation Nissan Z sports car is finally on the horizon. Okay, let's um, let's have a look at this. The Nissan Z cars. I mean, I, I really like the old ones. The the, the newer ones. Uh, 
I'm not feeling them as much. I don't know why. I should really love them, but I don't. <laughs> All right, let me glue glue this and uh, put it on screen for you guys to see as well. So here we go. Here we go. Hey, play. What are you doing? Okay. So this is um, the next generation Nissan 400Z. Okay, all right. Let's see what it says here. Accept all, yes, yes. So the 2021 Nissan 400Z will revive the Z car's legacy with twin turbo V6 power. Ah, interesting. Actually, that looks kind of cool. That looks very, very cool. I see a little bit of Aston Martin in here. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys see that. I see a little Aston Martin uh, kind of like Vantage in here, the new one. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Like especially around here as well. But I like what this sloping roof business, man. That that area that looks cool. I like that. And that wide stance is pretty sick. Actually, it looks quite cool. Why did I not hear about this? This didn't, didn't make my list of, uh, of of good news today. <laughs> So 2021, next year, I'm probably going to guess they're going to delay this because of COVID-19. Damn you, COVID. Uh, man, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, I do, I do like it. See, this is the one that I like, the 240Z. This was a, this is a sexy car, man. Look at that. That is old school and dope all at the same time. Yeah, that's the one that I uh, remember seeing once. I thought, ooh, that car looks so cool. I definitely like that. But the new one's dope as well. But right, let's go back. So I think that's what you meant, right, Hayek? <laughs> so if not, forgive me. Oh no, what's happened? Something. Why is a uh, why is Final Cut Pro bloody open? Get lost. I don't want to see ya. It keeps opening itself. Go back here, man. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, okay, cool. So let me read more of your comments here before I forget something. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, we got we got another new person. We got Shub, Shublam Shana. You think uh, you will see Arab cars this year in London? Oh man, um, Shubhan. First thing, welcome to the tribe because it's obviously your first time here. So welcome to the stream. You know what? I had a chat with a supercar on the streets the other day um, about basically what's going to happen this year. We honestly don't know, but the way things are going. Um, it might not be as busy this year as it has been in the past few years with the Arab cars, cars coming over because, I mean, different countries are going through different, um, they're going through COVID-19 at different rates. So we don't know when the Arabs country is going to be like opening the borders so that they can start traveling and stuff. We don't know how long we're going to be under quarantine for. We don't know what's happening in the borders and stuff as well. So I don't know. Um, fingers crossed they're going to be coming, but I'm going to say the probably aren't going to be that many this year sadly but uh let's all hope for the best but it'd be really, really cool to see uh more of our brothers and sisters from the arab emirates are uh, coming over here for summer and also bringing their amazing cars with them as well uh, uh let me see what else is there they are. and uh by the way if you guys are watching this you haven't given it a thumbs up yet hit that hit the bell button as well and subscribe if you haven't so that you can um uh, basically get notified when i post a new video or do a new live stream all right so George said, uh, I'm trying to understand what you mean, George. When you said nope, as in, uh, do you mean you don't like the look of the of the Z400, <laughs> the Nissan Z400? Oh no! But Israel Perry said, I, I do love the Suzuki Jimmy. Ah yes, that is the only Suzuki that I think if that I would like to have because it's cool, man. That is like a, it's like a mini G wagon. I think they look really dope. I love the simplicity of it. I definitely like that a lot. I've got a neighbor or like someone who lives local here who has um what not a Jimmy but he has like a I think she has a Nissan Cube. I think that's pretty dope as well. So the Nissan Cube and uh and the Suzuki Jimmy for real. Hey Israel, that, that could be your next car man. Forget about the quadrifolio. <laughs> GTA or the GTA or the GTA M and just get yourself um yeah the Suzuki Jimmy man. Or oh, Jiminy. Jiminy as they call it. Yeah, it's like a Lego bricks on wheels. It's nice. Um, Mike Hayek said, um, uh, Nissan Z, low. Yeah, I think I, I, I understand now. Because <laughs> I was like, Nissan Z, what the hell was that? But now I comprend it. I hope what I showed you guys on YouTube, on YouTube, on, um, on Glue Glue or Google was uh, what you were asking. If not, let me know as well. And I'll uh, have another, another look. Um, 
Shuhan uh, Sharma said, I don't feel we will see uh, much Arabs cars in London this year. I think that's uh, kind of what we're feeling right now because we're, all, we're now in May because usually around now and June, the cars start coming. And I already know that BMS, I think George was saying in the previous stream that he's not coming this year as well. So that's like, he's got the craziest, loudest, like a uh, Ferrari, I think it was a uh, F12 that you've ever heard. It's like pretty crazy. It's like, damn. And it's not coming this year. So um, that's not a good sign. But uh, yeah, let's hope so, man. Let's hope. But uh, hopefully when COVID is all over, all right, we're going to have like car events every friggin' week. I would love that. Like between like from June to, I don't know, Christmas, whatever, just like, car event car event car event because a lot of things have been held back because of this covid nonsense uh george Dunford said uh 25 years uh since the passing of art and center ah that's another thing that um I, I i need to mention here as well so if you don't watch formula one you probably heard of art and center at least you probably heard of um basically i didn't really watch him race but those who watched him race said he is probably arguably the finest f1 driver of all time and that lewis hamilton himself models himself on art and center and, and i think he said that he's his favorite formula one driver of all time as well so this year basically marks uh the 25th anniversary of his passing uh he died uh on a racetrack um yeah a while back uh, 25 years ago so Thank you for reminding us of that, George. So yeah, so 25 years since uh, passing Art and Senna. And uh, yes, the McLaren Senna is named after him as well. So an Art and Senna also helped develop, this is one of my favorite stories, right? He helped develop, um, developed, that would make no sense. The, um, oh, what, what, what's, what's that car? Jesus Christ, it's just, my mind just went blank there for a second. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, there you go. So Art and Senna helped develop the original um, Honda NSX. The car that made Ferrari like go back to the drawing board and do better because it's like, damn, this car is sick. And it's still one of the craziest cars that Honda has ever made. The new one is like, wah, wah, wah. But uh, there you have it. So Art and Senna has his spirit still living in a lot of cars today. So yeah, there you go. So thank you very much, George. Um, did any of you guys actually watch Art and Senna race? Um, because it'd be quite cool to get an insight. And I feel like we all need to go after this stream, basically go on YouTube and watch some uh, old F1 race and watch him race, because that'd be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Mike Hikes is a C uh, F type. I guess you mean in the design of the Z400, probably, because I just think that a lot of cars are borrowing stuff from other different cars and sticking out together. It's so obvious sometimes, um, yeah. So there's probably a little bit of uh, every car like thrown in there somewhere. But uh, general feeling is it looks cool. I love the sloping roof. It looks really nice. But the rear quarter is pretty dope. So yeah. So Israel said, I like it. So I guess he likes the Z400. His next car, there you go. That and get an, an a Jimny on your, on your driveway. Um, so Israel said, uh, is this the one to replace the 370Z? Probably, uh, I don't really know for sure, but what I, will, I can do is I do a bit more research on it and maybe do a video with it um, later on. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, Israel said, uh, I like, the funny thing is that because I get like a, a news feed on basically, you know, like car, I, I get more supercar news than I do like, you know, regular, before, other regular cars, but I'm surprised that one slipped through the net because I didn't really hear about that for some crazy reason. Uh, da, da, da. So Israel also said that uh, I like, I like it much more <laughs> to that Toyota. Yeah, uh, Toyota o Oprah. See, this is so bad, right? Because we're so into the supercar scene that we forget like uh, all these other cars are out there. That's quite bad. Because anything by Lamborghini, McLaren, I don't know, Koenigsegg, uh, Pagani, like we get the news, but there's more to the world than just supercars and hypercars. So this, for some reason, just fell through the cracks, man. So I'll try and do more in terms of like, um, talking about cars in general, not just hypers and supers, man. Um, yeah, the, the Datsun 240Z, that's what I'm talking about. That is a car, man. Like, I wonder what they're worth right now, because it looks so cool, man. That shape is just like, ah. Yeah, it is sick. We got Jimmy Blanco in the house. What's happening, Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy says I give two thumbs down. Two thumbs down. I give two thumbs down. Oh no, Jimmy! Let's see what you did there. <laughs> G 
George Danford said um, that Jimmy is Jimmy is cool, especially that Liberty. Yes, that Liberty Walk one. Um, make make a kit that looks. Yeah, exactly. I saw that one once when I was uh, at Novikov, and it literally pulled up. I wish I could find you guys the clip right now. It looks so sick. I literally thought it was a mini G wagon until I then I realized oh, I was a Liberty Walk. Um, look at Jimmy. It is cool, man. I really really like it. Uh, I would love to have one of those in a crazy spec, but definitely I'm gonna Liberty Walk it for real because this looks literally like a mini G-Wagon. So, so sick. So, look at this, man. I'm using my other phone as a trackpad. I'm wondering why the trackpad is not working. <laughs> God damn it, man. Hey, get over there, man. Get my trackpad back. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, Israel also said, I just sent you a link via IG for the company in UAE that uh, Converse Suzuki Jimny's and they went into G-Wagons. Ah, cool. They look amazing. Uh, I mean, the conversations with them to import them into the UK. Oh, UK, okay. Dude, do you know how dope that will be? That will be the craziest, dopest thing, like, forever. Look, you got a customer me, man. You got a customer in me. I just, I just really look so cool, man. It's like, yeah, that, that is such sick news. Let me, let me check my Instagram. Just, um, uh, just... I got Dooley up on my phone saying, just let you know, I'm watching your live stream. <laughs> Thank you, Dooley Dooley. All right, so let's, uh, Dooley funny guy, man. Me and Dooley go way back. Sloan. slow. Um, let's see what you sent me. Oh, oh, I feel like I gotta, I gotta share this picture because this is so sick. Oh my, I'm literally, I'm thirsting for this. I'm thirsting for this Suzuki Jimny. He's like, it's how sick it is. Uh, so can I save this and send it to myself? Uh, let me see. Ooh. Okay, I, ju I just, I Instagram it and then I'll show you guys because this is like fire. It is fire, man. Uh, let's go Instagram. Okay, they are called Uh, oh yes here we go oh my gosh this is so dope how far do i gotta scroll to get this whoo that's a big ass scroll man i've been scrolling for days oh for god's sake let me just share this oh i can't send it to myself this sucks okay copy the link and then paste it okay that's how i'm gonna do it i got a solution to this problem Paste. God damn it, paste. Okay, done. All right, let's play. Let's uh, find this big guy. This is so cool. Yes. All right, I'm gonna put it on screen because this, I mean, even that spec is like, oh my God, I want it. So this is what Israel just sent me. <laughs> Look at that, man. How cool is that? I wouldn't mind one of those. Literally a mini G wagon. Let's have a look at more pictures if we can. Can I cycle through them? No, I can't. Oh, I can. Whoa, look at that. The only thing I don't like, I don't like this bit here. But that there is cool. That looks a bit droopy down here, man. Look what's happening there. It's a very weird, maybe just the angle, but that is so sick. Oh, yeah. This is a cool Suzuki for it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, what, what am I, why am I making those noises, man? Yeah, this is dope, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sending that, Israel. That is proper dopeness right there. I'm definitely feeling that. Let's go back. Let's say, go back here. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, that is absolute sick. Uh, ha ha, Jimmy is, uh, so the Jimmy is cool. Yeah, I got that one already. So I just sent you read it already. And uh, Senna, the best. So Israel said, yeah, I guess Senna, the, the racing driver, uh, the ex-racing driver who passed away 25 years ago is the best. And that has been echoed by everybody else. They haven't, so Israel said they have an issue with that trademark, uh, ah, with Mercedes. So they need to sort that out before they can come into Europe. Yeah, that, that definitely makes a lot of sense because they don't want to be sued with Mercedes. And that, that will hurt like crazy. So Mike Hayek said, uh, uh, you luckies have the 
in their gym. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, so why can't you guys have it over there? Like, uh, is there a reason why? Mike, I'm guessing you're from the States, right? So, um, why can't you have it where you are? Because I think they're really, really cool. Like, literally, when I saw it, I was literally in love. And I, and I keep saying it because I, I just fell in love with it because I think they look amazing. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. Ha, 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 ha. Man, so we've been talking through all kinds of weird stuff, man. We're not talking about a Suzuki Jimny. Is it Jimny or is it Jimny? I swear it's Jimny or something like that. Um, yes. So, people, I'm going to have to say goodbye on the stream because uh, I need to save data for tomorrow's stream. So, I want to say thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, and thank you for all the new faces who tuned in today. And I hope to see you guys again on the, on the next stream, uh, hopefully tomorrow. And uh, like I said yesterday, my internet should hopefully be fixed by the 11th of this month if all goes well that's on monday so let's see what happens but uh, i want to say thank you very much and i'll catch you guys tomorrow take it easy peace out israel get the chimney <laughs> oh my god Woo. crazy day uh, uh just before i go just one quick thing that uh mike just said so i believe suzuki went out of uh, production here yeah that sucks man uh, i hope you can still import one at least because uh it's, 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 it's worth but then it's gonna cost crazy money as well but i hope you can uh before i go uh like they will do yeah the thing about they will though mm, i don't know they was like as a brand for cars i don't know man i didn't feel them i was not feeling the day did they make Hoovers and Hi-Fi's and everything else as well? They made some crazy stuff like back back in the day. Uh, Mike said, uh, peace. Uh, for real, man. Peace out and I catch you tomorrow. And Joe said, uh, wait, sent you something. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Okay, I'll check it out. Um, actually, Suzuki has stopped uh, the production in Europe due to emissions. Oh, God. See, this is the thing. Freaking emissions, man. Okay, I know why, but still, it's like it's, it's killing the goodness in the in the automotive industry. But let me see what George has sent me. Maybe I can share with you guys before I say goodbye. Um, George, where did you send it? Ah, let me guess, probably on Instagram. Instagram. What? George, I haven't seen anything, man. What did you send me? Ah, okay, send me on the uh, fan the kick. That looks like a. <laughs> oh, let me have a look. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this is the thing, George. But I can't share. Ooh, that 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 is that, that, that that's terrible. I oh, you got pictures as well. Okay, let me see. Yeah, it's easier to text it. Oof. I wish I could show you guys the video, but it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's not looking good. Maybe I can tell you where you guys can go and see it. Let me let me find uh, the link. Oof, that's painful. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Uh, let's go into YouTube. So, what the hell is the link? Share. And. Oh, damn, I can't do that either. That sucks. So, people, look. Type. Let me, let me. So, you guys can have a look at this yourselves, right? So, if you go into YouTube and type this, type 2020. Uh, Groulon. Sounds French. 2020 Gorilla GT8SS GT8SS um, Grand Prix Edition Yeah, so because I can't show you the YouTube because of copyright But you guys can go here, type that into YouTube And have a look and tell me what you guys think Because I think it looks terrible It's what George just sent me by the way uh, Maybe I can show you guys a picture Working. Ba 
Because I'm going to send me a post as well. Okay. Let me save that. Add to photos. Okay. This is the car I want to show you guys. Maybe you guys will like it. I don't know, man. Okay. Now, nah, let me airdrop it. God, so many hoops to jump through just to share things. Air dropping. This is ugly as hell. Ugh, why am I still waiting? Why am I waiting? Whenever I say I'm gonna like end the stream, you guys should keep sending me stuff. London F1. That is, that is what he calls Casbury. But let me show you guys what this is. So this is what George just sent me. <laughs> uh, oh no, where is it? The downloads. Do by date. Yes. Okay, here we go. So this is just like. Ah, uh, that 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 is pretty bad. So as George said, this this basically um a love child of a Zonda and a McLaren F1. <laughs> and then the child was born on a really tall tree and when the child came out it basically hit every single damn branch on the way down and that's what you got that is um yeah it's it's terrible but does anyone actually like this <laughs> oh jesus it is from this oh from the states i don't know man it probably goes really fast in a straight line but around corners now forget it yeah, it's uh, yeah, me no feeling that, man. Me no feeling that. Uh, let's, let's, what, what am I doing, man? What the hell is going on here? Oh, here we go. Let me get rid of it now. I mean, it's, it's hurting my eyes. But I can't get rid of it. Why not? Where is it? Ooh, it's gone. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, now I can see. Yeah, that is pretty painful. It's terrible. It's very, very bad. Thank you, George, for ruining my night, yeah? Yeah, he said sorry. All right, before I go, let's have a look at what Israel just sent me as well. Israel, what are you sharing, man? Oh, hello. Damn, son. That spec is just, it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's absolutely, let me just plug my phone in. It's quicker this way. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Will you recognize the phone? God damn it. Oh, here we go. So this is what George, not George, uh, Israel just sent me. So oh, this spec is so nice. That color is popping. That's that's beautiful, man. So this is the Suzuki Jimny that um, that Supercars Wimbledon was talking about. Yeah, I do like it, man. It is really, really nice. That spec is insane, but this spec definitely wins it for me. I like it a lot. That is a beautiful thing. Yeah, please import these. <laughs> they will fly off the driveway, man. These, these fly off the dealerships like crazy. Once Mercedes is happy to basically let this... Yeah, it's going to be a tough sell to get Mercedes on board with this one. Unless maybe if they use Mercedes engines or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's dope. But uh, yeah, so there you have it, people. So, um... Uh, is it the one? So... Uh, Switch back. So Izzo said, uh, basically, is the car I've just shown you guys earlier that the club, well, the the, the love child of a McLaren F1 and a Zonda. Uh, Izzo's asking, is is it F1 copy? So it's basically a copy of. It's not. It's not a copy. Is it an F1 got together with a Zonda after like a night out in an alleyway, and uh, nine months later they gave birth to that monstrosity. So yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, we got George to thank for that. So thank you very much, George, for ruining everybody's night. So um, I guess that's the last thing I'm going to be talking about today. So like I said before, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, until then, take it easy. Peace out and good night, people. Oh, my God. Uh, by the way, like after this stream, you can carry on a conversation in the comments, like um, after I upload the video as well. So you can all do that. And if you want to share the video with anyone, I'll do that as well. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace and out.
from the Zamunda TV Tower. <laughs> oh my.